welcome to the All in One channel. I'm Kelly Rosano, and this is Aquarius June 2012. Aquarius, we start off the month with the sun in Gemini, and this activates the area of your life that has to do with creative self-expression. It has to do with children. It has to do with sports activity. It has to do with amusement. It has to do with true love. It has to do with taking a risk. It has to do with love affairs, romance, then we have the Sagittarius full moon lunar eclipse on June 4th. And this has happened in the area of your life that has to do with the love you receive from others. So the love houses are very much activated now and all of June until the sun goes into a um, cancer. And so you have uh, the area of, of life that has to do with creative self-expression and romance and the love you give to others and then the the, um, the lunar eclipse happened in, in the area of your hopes and wishes, your goals in life, the money you receive from the work you do, the money received from the organization you work for, and the love you receive from others. So this is very exciting. Now the full moon eclipse challenges us to step out of the external limitations of what we think and what we know. We've been programmed by parents, teachers, culture, religion, government, and the mass media to see reality in specific ways. We've been trained to worship the mind and the five senses, yet 96% of our universe is imperceptible, even to our most sophisticated scientific equipment. So what is real? What is true? The Sagittarius full moon eclipse shows us that those answers cannot come from our head but will come from our heart. This full moon lunar eclipse summons us to integrate the masculine and the feminine, the head and the heart, spirit and matter. It is time to move beyond our comfort zones in self-imposed limitations, fears, and boldly move into our future. The power to create is increasing. As we move through fourth dimension and into fifth dimension, what we think and manifest, the time between that is collapsing. So it's very important that you're using your mind and your energy to create what you want. So focus on what you can do. Focus on what you can accomplish. Focus on what you have responsibility over and let go of what you don't. You have no control over what other people do. You have no control over the economy. So give that over to higher power. Give it over to your mighty I am presence. Give it over to God because your mighty I am presence and God can do something about it. And that way you are free to go about what you do have responsibility for. And that is yourself and your actions and your behavior. And so your intentions and what you're creating and what you're manifesting. So focus on what you want, not on what you don't. Focus on what you can do, not on what you cannot. Let go of uh, limitations. Now Venus, the goddess of love and beauty in Gemini, makes a rare eclipse to the sun on June 5th and 6th. Venus transits occurs in pairs. The first one was June 8th, 2004, and now we're having one on the 5th and the 6th, depending on where we are on the planet. Northern Hemisphere, Southern Hemisphere. The previous pairs were 1874 and 1882. The next ones are 2117 and 2125. It is time for women to reclaim their power and speak their truth. It is time for men to reclaim their feminine side. This is taking place in the area of life that has to do with love affairs, romance, creative self-expression, the love you give to others, children, risk-taking. Is it time to, you know, to be in love? Is it time to open your heart? Is it time to take a risk? Is it time for speculation? Now, just a few hours after this peak of this Sagittarius full moon eclipse, Neptune goes retrograde at three degrees Pisces. Neptune is the higher octave of Venus and dissolving the illusion of separation for all are one. Neptune will be retrograde until November 10th, and this is happening in the area of your life that has to do with your finances, your earning ability, your income. So perhaps you've been you know, experiencing more money going out than coming in, because Mars has been in the uh, other side of the chart, uh, the other side of your life with money owed to you, so you probably have been you know, managing debt or you know, getting rid of debt or restructuring debt, or you know, you've just been looking at uh, your debt structure and um, with Neptune 
drawing down his power now, this is good for the, for the area of your life that has to do with your, your earning ability, your talents and ability, your self-worth, your investments, your finances. So um, the, I think this is good, good for all of us because uh, Neptune has really been challenging all of us, those of us with planets and points from zero to five degrees, Pisces, Virgo, and Gemini, Sag. We have been feeling Neptune's effect most strongly. This will begin to give us a break as Neptune draws down his power, which is he's been running the show for the first half of 2012. Now, Jupiter enters Gemini on June 11th and will be in Gemini until June of 2013, encouraging us to open our minds to a wider range of truths. And this is happening in the area of your life that has to do with true love and romance, speculating, risk-taking. So the second half of 2012 is not going to look like the first half of 2012, okay? Because Neptune's drawing down his power and, and all the planets are going direct. And so Jupiter in this part of your life, you know, is really exciting. You know, it is, is it time for a new soulmate relationship? Is it time to take your relationship to the next level? Is it time to take a risk? Is it time to be more creative in your self-expression? You are the most creative sign. I mean, one of the most creative signs out there. And your creativity comes from being brilliantly unique, being brilliantly unusual. So go for it. Let that light shine. Um, be creative. Get creative. Now, the Sun, Venus, and Jupiter are all in Gemini. And that shows Gemini teaches us about contrast and contradiction. They are essential elements of the human experience. And the Gemini new moon on June 19th is creating a radical shift in consciousness because prime creator are using all of these new moons, all of these eclipses, um, the solstices, equinoxes, sacred dates like 5, 5, 6, 6, 12, 12, 11, 11, 10, 10. They're all sacred dates. Prime creator uses these sacred dates to channel the love light, goddess light energy through them to quicken us and to recalibrate us to the fourth and fifth dimension, higher frequency of love and light. So it's interesting that we have two Gemini new moons, one at zero degrees and now one at 28 degrees. Well, the one at 28 degrees is an eclipse that, like it was at zero degrees in May on May 20th. Um, and this is all activating your true love sector. So I think the universe has a message here, Aquarius. Is it time for you to be manly in love? Is it time for you to be manly in love with yourself? Is it time for you to be manly in love with life? Is it time for you to be manly in love with a soulmate? Um, is it time for you to be manly in love with your work? You know, I think it's really interesting how the love sectors are really being activated now here with you. Then we have solstice. So right after this Gemini new moon on June 19th, just hours afterwards, the sun shifts into Cancer. We're going from breakdowns to breakthroughs. Anything that is not built in truth, anything that's not built in love will dissolve. So we're either going to evolve or dissolve. And that's relationships, institutions, and systems. We are being recalibrated for higher love. Evolve or dissolve. We are to stand in our truth and our power. So this new moon is just hours before solstice. And when the sun goes into so, uh, to, uh, cancer, we have summer solstice in the northern hemisphere, winter solstice in the southern hemisphere, and it's a turning point. It is the gateway. And Prime Creator is downloading the new programs and archetypes into our atom cells and electrons and DNA. The second half of 2012 is not going to be anything like the first half. It is a major step up in vibration and frequency. Now, Mercury the Messenger entered Cancer on June 7th. So now, on June 20th, we've got the Sun and Mercury in the area of your life that has to do with your lifestyle. It has to do with your health habits. It has to do with your work habits. It has to do with your psychological diet, how you feed yourself emotionally, mentally, spiritually, and physically. So, you know, this is a very exciting time. Now, the biggest event of June is your ruling planet Uranus, revolutionary Uranus, squares off with evolutionary Pluto on June 24th. <laughs> like the sound effects? And it makes an exact square reshaping our world until 2015. Those of us with cardinal points between 
or planets between 0 and 12 degrees, Cancer Capricorn, Aries Libra, will be feeling this energy greatly. Then the Sun makes a hard aspect to Uranus and Pluto on June 20 and 29th, triggering explosive feelings and powerful events. Creative people will take radical action and make technological and ideological breakthroughs. This can empower us to move beyond our differences and opposing beliefs, for all are one. We are all one human family. Uranus square Pluto takes place in the area of your life that has to do with how you think, how you communicate, and also behind the scenes, how you hold yourself back, how you limit yourself, how you sabotage yourself. So if you've been holding on to attitudes, uh, negative attitudes, self-limiting attitudes, you are going to have a problem last week in June and the first week of July because this energy is very powerful and very explosive and it is not for the faint of heart. This energy, and I will be talking about this in the reports on the next new moon or full moon report, big time. And that's because it's about to change the landscape of our world. It's going to remove the 1% and it is going to change all systems. And on a personal level, Pluto and Uranus stand for truth. Aquarius stands for truth. Pluto rules Scorpio, emotional truth. So whatever you're doing that isn't truth, it will be brought to you, okay? Or whatever you've been tolerating from other people, whatever you've been putting up with, or whatever you've been tolerating with yourself, whatever you've been putting up with, it is going to come to um, a, a point. It's going to come to crisis, okay? And so you want to be looking at how you hold yourself back, how you limit yourself, how you get in your own way, and what sort of attitudes, how you think is holding you back, you know? And so release what no longer serves you. Release what isn't truth because there's no more hiding in false beliefs. There's no more hiding in, in false, false ideas, false opinions. That which is not truth will dissolve. Now, the good news is stabilizing Saturn goes direct in June on June 25th at 22 degrees Libra. And that Libra is another sister sign. Gemini and Libra are your sister signs. And they harmonious trying you, Aquarius. They harmonious empower you. It's the mutual admiration society. You're great. No, you're great. No, you're great. No, you're great. So with Saturn going direct, and this is happening in the area of your life that has to do with what you believe. So whatever is false beliefs now will dissolve. So, you know, whatever is not working is going to really be shown to you, okay? And the truth will set you free. Now, first it pisses us off, but then it sets us free. And that's what we want, isn't it? We want to be free. We want to be empowered. We want to be healthy. We want to be in love. We want to have passion in our work. We want to have passion in our lives. Well, we can't do that if we're faking it. We can't do that if we're pretending we're happy in a relationship or we're pretending we're happy in a lifestyle or we're pretending we're something we're not. So Uranus and Pluto are about to pull all that away and expose the truth. And Saturn going direct in the area of your life that has to do with God, your spirituality, expansion of consciousness, expanding you all over the planet, expanding you all over the universe, and what you believe. It doesn't mean that what you believe before is false. It just means as you evolve, so will your beliefs. And that's a good thing because you're evolving. The whole reason we're here is to evolve. It's all about soul evolution and freedom and truth and love and beauty. And speaking of love and beauty, Venus, goddess of love and beauty, goes direct on June 27th in the area of true love for you and taking a risk. So this is going to generate new connections for you, new truths, new possibilities. Communication, education, and cross-cultural exchange will expand for you. Relationships can finally get back on track again and move forward. June is a great month. It's an action-packed month. We started 2012 with career and work planets going in reverse at the end of January. Saturn and Mars, we had a window of opportunity, a forward movement between G December 23rd and January 23rd, and then right after that, the career planets went in reverse, Mars and Saturn. Then Neptune took over and was the most powerful planet. Now Neptune has taken a back seat until late fall, and this is a good thing because Neptune has nothing to do with day-to-day -day tasks or day-to-day -day work and day-to-day -day ways of making money. Neptune is all about spirituality and creativity. 
And so now that Neptune's taken a back seat, it really won't be active again until the end of November and December. So this is a real strong window we have here because Saturn is direct, Venus is direct, Mercury is direct, Mars is direct, Jupiter is direct, and these are the personal planets and the career planets and the work planets. So this can move you up and out, okay, out and up in your career, in your relationships, in your lifestyle, whatever needs to go to the next level, the planets are behind you. The universe supports you, Aquarius. With Neptune taking a back seat to late fall, you know, many folks have felt their plans have been on hold or delayed. No longer. We are moving forward at the speed of light. The second half of 2012 will be breakthroughs and rapid changes for the better and the highest good for all concerned. So move beyond your limitations. Get creative, Aquarius. You're one of the most creative signs there are. Thank you for watching, Aquarius. Thank you for liking and sharing my videos. Thank you for subscribing. You totally rock. Thank you to all my clients. You rock. If you would like to work with me and have me take a detailed look at your astrology, it's very easy. The link is below. You go to my PayPal page. You choose the length of the session that you want. Once I see you make that commitment, I email you my schedule. You choose the day and the time that you want. And then we're off and running, rocking and rolling. So until next time, Aquarius, keep looking up.